What up YouTube, TK here, and today we're looking at re-inking dot matrix printer ribbons. Cosmos 2000 and I have been playing with old printers, and their ribbons do tend to dry out after a few decades. So we experimented and developed some techniques to get them re-inked, get them working again. Our first attempt was by using a mixture of ink from a butchered Sharpie, it's a, it's a marker, combined with methylated spirits as a solvent. We dunked the ribbon in this mixture and attempted to reassemble the cartridge. However, it tended to wash the ink out of the ribbon rather than actually applying ink to it. We're now refeeding that into the cartridge. Uh, and so we've put it through the rollers, the feed rollers. We then feed it through the little strap tensioner. I've, I've decided to call it that. Do you have a butter knife? Gently tug on that. Try and get it properly in there. It's not really wanting to go. Okay. What I want you to do is mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold back the strap tensioner. I just yep. want you to feed that. Right. Yeah. That. You know, get it get it properly yeah, seated. That right. How's that? That's good. That's fantastic work. Okay, so now what we do is we just uh, start to run the roller, and you see that's feeding in. So we put the lid back on. Cosmos 2000 is gonna handle that. Yeah, I check this time. You gotta be very careful during this stage of reassembly of the cartridge. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that you don't snap any posts. All right, so that looks like that's in. So now, Cosmos 2000 is gonna tension that out for me. Just just hold it out gently. Make sure it's untangled. How's that? You got that? Yep. yep. So I'm gonna rotate this, and we're just gonna feed this back into the cartridge. Now, I also don't wanna hold it too tightly that the ink rubs straight back off the cartridge it's getting reinstalled in the Epson CX80 I think it's designed to slide in oh wait actually I did notice that's not that we used too much methylated spirits it just basically rinsed oh, all the ink out <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> just, <laughs> okay we, we actually did a crap job oh well alright our happens. second attempt involved, again, getting a marker pen, cutting it open, ripping out the guts inside, and then squeezing the ink directly onto the ribbon. This was more promising right from the get-go. So we've just got the ink from the pen, and we're just literally rubbing it. It's really sort of rough and ready way of doing it. Just slow it down a bit there, Az. Um, but we're just re-inking using the ink cartridge out of an outline pen, and we're just rubbing it directly onto the ribbon strip this saves you having to disassemble the whole cartridge bit simple bit dirty um but it's it's working better than all our dunkish methods you just have to make sure you get the whole tape you just keep going for ages <laughs> i can tell i can tell when it's going on because it it gets heaps darker yeah I, had something I used to have a little bottle for plotters and it was oh, amazing oh, 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 oh what go again go again that's pretty nice. Oh! Look how good it is! Right, when it works good, it works good, doesn't it? It does, bit hit and miss, but it works. Okay, so the method does work, it's just you've got to be more consistent than us. Yeah, that's yes. black, that's man, that's proper document. Well, what would happen if you did now put WD-40 on it? It'll get better. Yeah, yeah should we do that? Yeah, yeah, because that'll, that'll liquefy it more and help yep. it spread out more. So we're just going to try and help it out. Um, I, I prefer to use Metho as the solvent for the ink in these situations. Uh, everyone else here just loves WD-40, which is not really um, my favourite solvent, but, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a crowd pleaser. We're just going to spray this in because, you know, we've already seen that we can improve it. We're just going to have a bit more fun now and try not to ruin it. Cut. Let's see what I said speed get a bit way over there. So that, that, like, I'm not, I'm going to go in a bit the other side as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really not too worried if it gets a bit too liquidy in there, because I think eventually the ribbon will just soak it up. I reckon it will too. I reckon that's, that's way too much, so I reckon if, if you just crank that around oh, for a yeah, while. yeah, look at that. Now what yeah. we're going to do is, yes, it's evening. Look yeah, at that. Yep. Yep, very yep, good. It's evening it out. So what we do, spreading around, we'll, we'll do this. It'll evaporate, hopefully. Mm. So we've pretty much dosed the entire ribbon now and it's looking quite wet, um, which is probably going to produce some slightly annoying prints for a little while, but we think once it sort of dries off and evens out, it's going to be really nice and fresh. We're going to give it a go. You keen? Yes, certainly are. I'm very keen. Cosmos 2000 very keen. Look at that. Look how even that looks. It's, it's wet, as you say, but 
very it's, consistent. It's, it's starting to look like a very fresh and juicy ribbon. Absolutely. Yeah, very consistent. It's not looking dry in spots anymore. That is awesome. Look at that. How did you change the font? Or is that just that blurry? I think mean, it's just blurry. It's a little blurry due to the uh, SS solvent, the WD-40, but that's that's working. That's so readable. That's a big improvement from where we were this, you know, earlier earlier today. You know, you could barely read that before. That's awesome. Dude, result. Well done, boys. We were so buoyed by our success, we decided to try again using our Commodore MPS 1230, and results were pretty fantastic. For this one, we're gonna use a similar technique of rubbing it with fresh ink from the Sharpie, but we're not gonna crack it open. So first, uh, Cosmos 2000 there, he's gonna go ahead and cut the end off that Sharpie. Just a bit of cutting. Won't cut through the ribbon. Yeah, just cut the, uh, cut the Sharpie open and pull out the delicious inky guts inside. Oh, look at that. So we go ahead, we pull that out, and it's got a plastic coating on it, which we're gonna have to slice through to get to the ink-soaked fabric inside. Yep. It's, it's kind of like doing surgery on a grape. Oh yeah. Oh no, cut it, cut it lengthwise. Yeah, that might be, oh yeah, it, it sort of actually might be able to, there we go. Look at that pure ink there, look. Oh yeah, just rubbing that directly onto the ribbon. We're then gonna chase this with a few squirts of WD-40, which helps just generally lubricate everything, distribute the ink along the whole ribbon, and uh, we should get some pretty good prints. It's the same technique we used on the last one, just without cutting the entire thing open. That works well, folding it around the ribbon, yep. where the cut is. So hopefully with this technique, we should get delicious, lovely, dark, bright prints without having to buy a new cartridge for $50. Just using the little green wheel there to rotate the ribbon across the cut open sharpie. Oh, that's what you want to do. That works even better. So we just spilled the ink on the plate and now we're just rotating the ribbon through the liquid. And that's also helping to get it in there. An even easier way to do this is to just buy a bottle of India ink and squirt it directly into the cartridge, but that takes time and effort and it's much more fun cutting open a sharpie and getting your hands dirty. It certainly is. Trick is, don't touch your wedding dress after doing this. In fact, if you're doing this on your wedding day at all, I really have to question <laughs> your priorities. <laughs> there could be issues with that. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Brilliant. I regularly send care packages of Texas to Cosmos 2000's house just to make up for the fact that this happens to most of them. Oh, yeah, that was funny. That was unexpected in the post. Well, yeah, with this very Sharpie. Yeah. Because I think once it gets into this, where it stores it, yeah, it all here, just, yeah, it all just like pulls. And all right, it spreads. Even, oh, that's done. Bit of a spritz of WD, and we'll go for it. Yep. There we go. Yeah, so that is a little, little wet, but that's no surprise. You see, it's already getting better. And look how dark it is. That's that's magnificent. I'd love to try that one day. And the key is it's very consistent. You see, you're not seeing like dark and light spots. You can see we've got a very consistent coating mm -hmm. on the printer. It's black. It's it's like as if you, you drew a picture with the, with the Sharpie. Like. Yeah, it's it's magnificent. Yeah. So yeah, all in all, that's a win. TK out.